Okay, good afternoon. Or whatever time it is for you. Um, it's good to see you, Patty. Um, Yoho the Pirate. Jeremy, Benjamin Dry, Hurt McGurp, Smoke It. Um, I don't remember a Luke Gunter off name, but maybe I remember your face. I don't know. Um, Arissa. I also saw Raw Tactics in here. I met them at uh, New Vegas Day, the first New Vegas Day. Owen, it is 3 p.m. in my state of Washington State. And we're going to play some gosh darn Fallout. Fallout the first. That music came on aggressively. Um, I have my standard build here. And the next time I do Fallout 2, we're going to do uh, the restoration patch. I should have done Fallout fixed on this one. So the next time we do Fallout the first, we will do the fixed mod as well. Ha! Ah, you're here. Good. We've got a problem. A big one. The controller chip for our water purification system has given up the ghost. The you glasses make, make me one. look too serious? The process is too complicated for a workaround system. Simply put, we're running out Let's of... Let's try to rock it without him. No water, no vault. This is crucial to our survival. Dude, frankly, no, I, I kind of need him to see. Jesus Christ. Like, before I didn't think have. I had bad vision. You need to go but, uh, find us another controller chip. We estimate I can barely, like, the chat's so blurry without them. The vault runs out of water. We need that chip. We you got stationed in South Korea for a couple of years? Vault. Oh, fuck. A bad place to well, I hope you're doing well, Ra. Look. Oh, yeah. Safe. Okay. Uh, if you have Amazon Prime, this first Fallout is free, like Arissa said in the chat. My dog is joining me. Uh, he walked out of camera range. Yeah, we're gonna go get that chip. Don't you worry about it. Plague. Uh, no, uh, we're only live on uh, Twitch and YouTube. Going to Kick and Trovo, I think, was causing some latency issues. So I'm just doing the two right now. You're right, this isn't 76 Dark Elite, Eric, but I am planning a 76 stream soon. Where, um, I'm starting a new character, and, uh, fucking starting it all over again. So, don't you worry. Yeah, Fallout Fix, like, gives you a take-all button, lets you scroll with the mouse wheel, all kinds of good shit. Alright, we'll call this the Max Chad stream like we do all the time, and then we're gonna cheese our way through here. This is uh, just hitting the A key over and over again, and the first fallout allows you to skip through any instances of being drug into combat. So we got past all those reds. Bada bing. The glasses look fresh. Well, thank you. I appreciate you. Uh, Dark Elite Eric, anybody who wants to play with me, like fans or, or viewers or whatever, um, the only thing is we're not going to be taking like... Uh, a bunch of people with super high levels in, you would maybe even have to commit to just making a new character if you wanted to join because we're trying to, uh, uh, have that experience of, like, a new character. So if we have a bunch of, like, level 100s running around, then it's not gonna, it's not gonna work right. <sighs> but that just came into my head, thinking about it. Okay, so... We're not going to go to the Rad Scorpion Caves yet. Learn about the Raiders. Okay, see you later. Talk to Katrina over here. She'll give us all the information, which will give us 250 XP.
Yeah, Mania, good to see you. Okay, so we'll read our fucking endorsement book. Uh, no, Ben, I don't think level 50 would be alright. Like, legitimately, 1 to 5 is what we're gonna be starting, like, I'd be okay with starting at. And then, um, I mean, we're going to, you know, play into those levels, but, uh, you could join us when we were closer to level 50. I just, uh, you, 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 the way the game works, that should make sense to anybody who's played it. Uh, no, this is the first Fallout, uh, Clark. on the team. Oh, Raw Toxics. Yeah, anybody who wants to start a new character, like, I can't promise you like, it's kind of first come, first serve, you know what I mean? Um, and, uh, YouTube members would get, like, uh, first priority, but it's me and my cousin that are going to be starting new characters. And I don't, I, I'm, I think he's streaming it as well. I'm not sure. Um, but he lives, uh, in my house as well. Um, well, it's his house, too. We share responsibility for the house, is what I'm saying. <laughs> but uh, he may be joining me for the stream. Um, but, like I said, anybody who's willing to start a new character or be around that level, jump on in. Okay, we'll tell him about crop rotation. I think we have a gun, don't we? Yeah. You only have Xbox 76? Yeah, I... Uh, oh, shit. You make a good point. I think it's free to play, right? Like on PC? I didn't think about that. I don't think my cousin has it on PC, and I'm pretty sure... Oh, maybe he does. Maybe we played it together already. Oh, Soggy Doggy's here too. And uh, Cthulhu. I saw him. Thought I did. What the fuck? I'm looking through it now. Dale, good to see you. Stino's here too. Good to see you. No, I'd be playing it on PC. Take these for later. And go talk to Eridish. And Tandy. Hi. I heard there was a traveler in town, but I was kind of skeptical until I saw you. My name's Tandy. What's yours? Well, how do you like our little town? Bored yet? Finally! Someone else who sees! Of course, you've probably been everywhere, so this... this must be hell for you. Artemis, good to see ya. Me? Leave? I wish. I don't know enough to leave alone. No one else wants to go. Worst of all, my father says he would have a heart attack if something happened to me. Yeah, well, he probably would. Sure, I guess. I've never been out of here, so I don't know what help I can be. So, what you need? There's a bunch of cities down south, but since you're such a great traveler, I'm sure you know that already. I don't know why she's laying on the attitude. No problem. Anything else? We got rad scorpions. I mean, I know it's not a good thing, but no one's died from the stings. And it's the closest thing to excitement we've got here. Yeah, um, as you can see in the specs for my PC down in the description, my PC has a really hard time running this. Jeremy with the fat $5 super chat. Anything besides the sacred clay head that you wish you could have as a Fallout fan? Oh, yeah, I do want one of those clay busts for, like, these talking heads that you see with Tandy. That's all clay, and I really want one. Oh, I have a 76 Pit Boy. Um, I have the Fallout 2 guide as well. You are cool, Jeremy. You were cool before that, but that does help. 
Hey, it's W. Good to see you. Um, I I have the seventy six style pit boy somewhere around here. God, it might have gotten lost in the move, but probably not. It's probably packed up somewhere. But it's uh, painted the quantum the Nuka quantum colors. It's fucking dope. Um, I love it. And then uh, I also have a set of uh, Elite Riot gear from Fallout New Vegas, which I'm really into. I need to get the I need to grab the helmet and bring it up here for like being in the background for streams. Um, but yeah, Jeremy, thank you so much for the super chat, man. And yeah, Burning One, the future, and yeah, Dark Elite, Cree Summer, this is the voice actress for, uh, Tandy, and yeah, the future president, uh, Burning One, you are correct, future president of NCR. Just stuff, no problem. Anything else? Well, thanks for talking. We don't get many strangers here, so it's always good My to talk to My dog's snoring, so hopefully... <sighs> See ya. Hopefully it doesn't bug you guys. Yes, W, uh, OG Fallout and Fallout 2 get played at least once or twice a week. I mean, uh, a month on the channel, for sure. Greetings. Your business in Shady Sands might be... Uh, well, Wanderer, I shall believe you for now. You may enter Shady Sands, but be warned. What'd you ask, Every Soggy? move will be watched. I don't see your question. Soggy doggy. Uh, because my chat's too far down now. Um, so, oh wait, I can scroll over. Um, I'm looking for your question, Soggy. Dude, I have Does anyone know? Okay, yeah, I did. I, I don't know what you asked, or I'll, I'd try to answer it if uh, you ask it again. Or if anybody else knows it. Oh, I tabbed out, so we have to deal with this. Certainly. What do you wish to... Oh, my, yes. Great packs of rad scorpions are killing our herds. We don't know where they're from, and no matter how many we kill, there's always more. And now the monsters are attacking my people. Roslo is trying to find a cure for their poison, but I'm not sure how it goes. Mm, yes, 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 yes. Please talk to Roslo. He possesses far more information on these creatures than hey, I. Hey, Arissa, I was also. Well, I woke. No, I woke up to uh, nine eleven. That's never mind. I woke up to nine eleven, like I was sleeping. I woke up and I was like, "Oh shit, what the fuck's going on here?" Hey, Benjamin, thank you for the two uh, British pounds there. Great British pounds, top tier. It's not Monopoly money, man. It's worth more than my money. So, I appreciate you. Um, I'm still waiting for Soggy to ask this question again. Because I... Um, I don't know what he said. And then somebody said, You've never watched gameplay of this? Oh, well, hey, Theory. I'm glad... Uh, I'm glad that you could tune in and that you're here with us. Bruv Bucks. That's my favorite. I'm going to start calling him that. Okay, you have Game Pass, and you can play on Xbox and PC. Th oh, okay, that's probably how my cousin will play it. When playing Fallout 76 through the Xbox app, Xbox app on PC, still let me play with you. I think so, if you're on PC. I think so. Because I think it matters the platform, not the soft, uh, like, hardware. I mean, uh, software. I think. I could be wrong. You may have to Google that one, but uh, I think so. Okay, we're gonna try not to- ooh, yeah, fuck. I mean, he's still pretty close to me. But, uh, I like him to stay close. And we're gonna hope we don't get fucking shot by Ian a whole bunch. No! Ooh, no. Those are not poisoned. Beautiful. Okay. Yes, Ian. Beautiful. And we got a level. Um. Okay, so if we take that, like, 
one we put into speech. We can get that to 100%, so let's do that. I'm gonna go with that. Okay. Take homie's tail. Take other bro's tail. Should have two of them. Yes, okay. The Fallout 1 demo. Yeah, Brandon, I remember that too. It gives you like a like pre-version of Junktown. Come on, Ian. Oh no. Ooh, nice. Nice. Beautiful. This game is good, not was. Stubby. Nice try. It's still good. <laughs> it's still fantastic. gonna be in. The old flanking gank. I thought there was ammo, like, right there. I know that there's some around down here too we picked up the other one it's not like fallout 2 where you can just highlight the stuff on the ground but once we get the fixed mod uh for our next playthrough we will uh see some changes on that shoot this fucking guy all right last three rad scorpies yeah, uh, dude, you constantly spam F6 in uh, these classic games. Classic. Classic move to spam F6, which is quick save. You, uh, save scumming is like a part of, of playing these. 100%. Oh, nice, Ian. Fuck. Beautiful, that should be it. Yep. Bada bing! Whoops. Have I ever seen the Fallout Collector's Edition? Oh, yeah. Um, I used to have one of those, like, uh... Little mini nukes with it. And then it just, it got, like, fucking destroyed. I don't even know how it happened. But, uh, regardless, it's no longer with us. But, uh, yeah, I have, I've, I used to have one of those. <laughs> it's a, it, that's a really cool little set. Too bad, uh, like, all these new PCs don't have disk drives anymore, you know? Okay, so, we're gonna talk to Eridish. Ah, things How nervous was I for the Tim Kane review? Not. Raslo has been working on a cure a for whole the lot. scorpion poison, and with that, we should be able to fight what's left of them. After I talked to him for like five seconds, I was no, I would, there was no more like nervousness, like because I, I could like read him. I don't mean read him in like some weird way, but I could like you know feel the vibe of the conversation and the like type of person he was conversationally. 
And I wasn't like nervous after that because I could tell that he was a nice dude and that he was like genuine and shit. So <laughs> it was like genuinely nice is what I mean. Um, so uh, a lot of that went away. I was, I was mainly more excited and like hoping that he didn't think I was a big fucking dork and uh, a nerd, which are two things that are fine to be, but you know what I mean. You are truly a hero. Goodbye. Goodbye. All right. Dude, no, he's a super, super fucking excellent dude. Like, no hyperbole, one of the best people I've ever fucking talked to. Okay. Uh, two vault 15. Okay. Let's... These rats are such a waste. I'm trying to get Ian to fire on them so I don't waste my ammo on them. What, uh, somebody saying uh, Tim helped make the games? He created the series. Uh, it was a project that he was working on in his off time. He went and um, kind of put out the word that he was working on something and that people who wanted to work on it, you know, because like he didn't want to take away from anybody's actual work time in the company um, at Interplay, so he... Uh, he would get some pizzas uh, for dinner and set up after hours in a meeting room and they'd talk about this and work on Fallout and at first Brian Fargo didn't like it but then like every and that was who was running Interplay for the most part and then uh, the more um, the more people came were like this is amazing they all wanted to work on it the more brian fargo was like this is fucking dope you know so um that's kind of how it all got started uh and you have tim leonard boyarski and uh there's a third guy in there i'm forgetting his name i'm pretty sure scott campbell was uh, uh anyway Everybody who worked on them is why the games are so good, but, you know, these guys, uh, without them, the, whole, the setting and everything, it wouldn't exist. Okay, uh, yeah, Raw Tanks is the Mantis stickers I gave you in Good Springs. Yes, I'd, I like to, I like to come down to Good Springs with a couple thousand stickers and hand them all out, man. Like, so for anybody who wants them, and like I said, not everybody at New Vegas Day is a fan of mine. Like, um, there's people that I notice that I never end up talking to. They never come up to me for, like, an autograph or a picture. They never say hi to me. They never do anything like that. And that's fine. It's not just for people who are fans of me, you know? Like, it's it's New, New Vegas Day. I, I, like, the reason I say that is because I, I'm, like, the biggest promoter of it. Like, uh, no other content creator really promotes it like I do. And I was, like, the only content creator, you know, like, to, like, go to the first one and actually cover it and all that other kind of stuff. Um, and most of the people, like, if you uh, ask, uh, you can ask Steve, the guy who runs the, the bar in the general store, like, 90% of the people at the first one only heard about the event because of me. Um, but, like, there's still, like I said, there's still people, like, either, you know, they don't like me or whatever, um, but... I never end up even talking to they like pretty much just I don't want to say avoid me but you know like <laughs> they don't come up and talk to me I don't I don't talk to anybody who doesn't you know like come up to me and like you know, want to talk on it I don't make it a point to get involved with like you know strangers conversation or I don't know it's actually a, a cool vibe there so walking around talking to people is a little different it's a little more acceptable we need to get out of here before Ian traps us haha -ha. um anyway 
Uh, I, my fucking train of thought on that was just, uh, New Vegas Day is a very good vibed place, and, like, uh, even if, even if you have, like, not the most positive feelings about one thing or the other thing, like, it's just a super positive vibe the whole time. Uh, but I like, I'd like a Fallout game set anywhere, Owen. Um, I'm not sure about what would be going down in, uh, Venezuela or Argentina, but hey, you know, like, uh, you never know. Uh, looking forward to Fallout 1 and 2 fan remake. Dude, uh, that Arroyo mod looks fucking amazing. It looks so good. I saw the trailer of that the other day on Twitter, and, uh, it blew my fucking mind on X, my mistake. Yeah, Dark Elite, Eric, you do have to come out to the New Vegas Day. It's, uh, fun for everyone, man. It's fucking nice. We'll get our hunting rifle in here. Oh, I need to be aiming my shots. That's the fucking problem. Man, oh man. Yeah, London, uh, Fallout London coming out right around the time the show comes out in, uh, April, right? <coughs> um, very excited for that. I think they're gonna fucking kill it. Uh, Miami, I've seen a little bit on. I've seen more Fallout London than I've seen Miami, but yeah, it, it, everything I've seen in Miami looks amazing. We gotta find the exact pixel. The hunting rifle's on. All right. Now we got our hunting rifle. Jake Martin just gifted five TKS Mantis memberships. Jesus Christ. Archer in Who just got one. Captain V got one. Dan got one. Old Fortran got one. And Max Monroe got one. So make sure to thank Jake Martin if uh, you heard your name listed there. And thank you so much, Jake. That's fucking amazing, dude. I appreciate you big time. You gotta give me that hot tub money? Yeah, dude, I do want to get a hot tub. I, getting a hot tub isn't going to be necessarily integrated into my streams, but uh, I like uh, sitting in hot water. Yeah, Ashton, everybody welcome to A Tribe Called Mantis. Oh, again, I need to be aiming these shots. Stupid. Are the older Fallouts worth playing, Sir Henry? Yes, uh, I believe they are. They're some of my favorite games of all time. Would I play an 80s retro future apocalypse game? Yes, I would. That sounds dope, Jeremy. Let's uh, go out here. Oh, Frisky says the hot tub, uh, your wife and you got a hot tub, um, last year and it was the best purchase ever. See, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm fucking saying. This is what I'm fucking saying. Okay, so, do that. Dump into lock pick. There we go. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Yeah, Peter, I love these old games, too. They are top tier. Got our Mad Max armor on. Good to go. Oh my god, aim the shots. there's anything over there. The groin. Am 
My all-time favorite movie is Forrest Gump. Uh, Soggy Doggy. It's just my favorite movie. <laughs> I relate to it a lot. Alright, uh, yeah, the green it is. Well, the cool thing about the retro games is they're all still play. you know, most of the time all these retro games are still playable. So even though you weren't born back then, you know, like, uh, back when I was, old timers here, uh, you can still play them. Adam RPG is very good, Fat Pirate, and uh, Arissa, that'd be dope. Uh, I would love to do some playthroughs of the Sim Settlements. Because there's uh, two as well, isn't there? Wow. Bit more maintenance than you anticipated, but uh, it's pretty fucking good. Not too bad in the electric bill either, that's what I like to hear. That's what I like to hear. Get him, Ian. Oh, you punk ass. Ah, oh, fuck. If we're gonna do it, let's do it, Ian. I don't know what the fuck he's doing. Yeah, Soggy, Forrest Gump is my favorite movie. What faction do I think Forrest Gump would support? The Minutemen. Ooh. Cave Rat critically missed and took two uh, hit points damage. Knocked down and hurt herself. Well, we better put her out of her misery then. Yeah, Jeremy, that's a good idea about the Discord names. <laughs> you, uh, you make a good point. Okay, this time we're just gonna hold on to, uh... <laughs> This bad boy. Well, you know what? There we go. Okay. Is there anything else? Forrest Gump had PTSD. I imagine some type of PTSD. Yeah. He fought in Vietnam. Watched people like he was like carrying people who would eventually die in his arms and shit. And I would think that that would breed some PTSD. Damn, playing uh, Fallout Dust with the Tale of Two Wastelands patch. Uh, I have played it. I made a video essay on uh, Dust. I think it's a very special mod. Oh my god. Wow, Ian. Okay. I don't know why my dogs work.
And we don't have to take out like every rat. Best part of uh, Forrest Gump was Lieutenant Dan. Yeah, he's a terrific character. The book is far different than the movie. I ended up reading the book later on in life. And I like it, like the first book, because there's a sequel as well. I wasn't as big of a fan as, of the sequel, but uh, Ian, you take care of that. Um, but uh, yeah, Lieutenant Dan's a phenomenal character. What build am I doing right now? The standard sniper build. We're about to go get Tandy back from the cons. Okay. I'm finished the game with all the companions alive. I know how to do it. Foolproof. Yeah, Gary Sinise is a fucking good guy. That's uh, who played Lieutenant Dan, for anybody who might not know. Here we are at the first iteration of the cons. And we got Dandy free. Dish. I will be forever in your debt for your courage and bravery, Wanderer. Here is your room until we meet. Okay. Oh, a fat two dollar super chat from Jeremy. What do you get when you cross an owl with a bungee cord? Um, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, Peter, go for it. There's a lot of, uh, a lot of good tools for people who want to make mods in uh, the Bethesda games. I have seen a boy and his dog. My dad told me about it when I was a boy <laughs> and I probably watched it a bit too young but uh yeah love that fucking movie and I, I know it's a uh, it's a uh, importance to fallout as well all right let's go take out Doc Morbid yeah, Jet, it looks like you are a member here. Someone must have gifted, uh, gifted to you if you didn't do it yourself. Oh, the answer is my ass. Okay, I don't really get uh, the correlation, but I appreciate the super chat, and uh, thank you, Jeremy. Yeah, no, I played this when I was 11 years old, and... Uh, Watch South Park and Beavis and Butthead and all that shit.
Got him right in the fucking eyes. 30 hit points. Done. Ian can have this one, even though it's probably going to get me killed. So now he has that shit, and it will fuck us, because he he bursts through you a lot. With better lock pick. Oh, we did it. How am I at my max? Oh, shit. I didn't. Oh, no. I didn't turn in those tails to fucking. Razzle. And I have all these guns too. Um, fuck. I have an idea. Because I'm going to need to get that armor as well. So do this. Could take buff out. <laughs> do this for a minute. Oh, I didn't realize. Where the fuck did all this come from? Was that in the locker? Yeah, I appreciate you guys. Uh like in the stream and uh follow me on twitch I, uh, a couple of people followed me over there and i appreciate you here you go ian fuck man Don't give me your caps though that's gonna clear up the weight issue quite a bit oh fuck maybe that's okay that's probably why Oh, and that would explain why I still have the two guns. I didn't fucking give him what I... Okay. I get it. Okay. One of these guns in this pack. Do I have any plans for more stoned lore episodes? Yes, I do. More actual videos on both channels are coming. I've just been really into streaming lately. So that's what's going on with that frisky. But I appreciate you asking because that means a lot that people want to see my stuff. Okay. Offer. Talk. Give me your 60. Oh, shit. I'll give you a buff out. Oh, do it. Give me this. Okay, so. Uh, okay. 
so now we'll go fight Cougar and Flesh. Yeah, I heard about the Korean uh, streaming stuff being a little wonky there, Ra. Oh yeah, the doctor's still alive? Not anymore! Come on, Cougar. Come on, Flash. Let's go. I want your armor. But I will also get dog meat. Damn. Ooh, nice, Ian. See, that's why you give it to him. Yeah, now homeboy's running. Done so. Okay. I'm using Restream right now. Raw. Oh, it adds weird popping sounds that uh, don't usually appear in your OBS. Are you hearing any weird popping sounds from me right now? Because I'm I'm using it. Um, I I haven't noticed that problem myself. No, I'm not gonna kill the entire town. I was uh, those guys are hostile to you once you uh, figure find out that they've been supplying human meat to Iguana Bob. So I was uh, doing that. Now I'm going to go grab dog meat real quick. And then go back to Shady Sands to uh, get the rad scorpion cure. No popping? Okay, well that's... Here's dog meat. Yeah, bro, I was having, like, people say that there was, like, a flashing on the screen and, like, shit, and, like, so I, uh, I don't know if that was Restream or what the deal was, but, uh, I've had, you know, some, like, weird things happen, but I don't know what would cause any of them. No, there's a way to save Ian a dog man at the end. I'll do it if everybody's, uh... This is like the second time somebody's said something about it. I and okay, and before I do it the way I'm going to, I do have a stream somewhere, and maybe I'll have to clip it from YouTube because it's in my VODs. Um, where I got through Mariposa military base legit, and Dogmeat and Ian were alive at the end. This is so, <laughs> so much time to waste just to walk back to fucking Shady Sands to do this. See, in the original version, there was kids, there was like four or five kids running around Shady Sands, but they cut them so that you wouldn't kill them. on Jarvis here.
and it's a nice little side quest you can do. Help him out. That's what I'm seeing, Sammy. I, I went and, uh, you know, I have a, like a super gaming computer, and uh, some of the games I play the most are these classic Fallout games. Hey, well, I appreciate you saying that, Benjamin. It means I'm doing my job right, and there's more to come. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that, like I said, I haven't been releasing videos a lot lately. I've just been really into streaming, so I've been having a lot of fun doing this and uh, uh, hanging out with you guys and talking about it. talk to MacGyver here, Killian Darkwater, owner of Darkwaters. What the fuck? What time is it? Can I help you? The name's Killian. Killian Darkwater. I'm the mayor of this fine town. And who might you be? Well, Junk Town's not much, but it's home. Mostly we trade with people or let them forget their troubles for a bit. Of course, we have our share of problems. From outside, we've had the occasional to do with the cons, but they've been pretty quiet lately. Inside, trouble's been from the skulls. And I hear some strange things happening down by the hub, but they haven't affected us yet. Knock on my mother-in-law's head. You bet. May not be as big as some in the hub, but people usually find what they're looking for. Take a look around. Here we go, boys. I hope uh, dipshit doesn't burst through everybody and end up fucking killing or hitting somebody who isn't on... Uh, who's an hostile? Oh, well, we did it. Listen, thanks for saving my life. It's a mighty brave thing to do. Now, it looks like we've got ourselves a situation here. I know Gizmo's behind this, but I need proof. You interested in helping? If you could bring any... Uh, what's it? If you could bring any armor or weapon from a previous Fallout game into New Vegas, what would it be and why? I don't know, man. <laughs> it's a, so many of them are actually crossed through, like the Bozar and the combat armor and stuff. So uh, those are some of my favorites from Fallout 2. Uh, what, what is this? Uh, Mantis, have you ever played? Yeah, no, I love, uh, Halos 1 through 3, I really enjoy. The Master Collection's fucking great, but I used to play, um... You have to wear a recorder and tape Gizmo confessing. Or Halo 3 online, this like, every fucking day office, with my friends when way. it came out. And we got him. All right. I owe you. Here's the bug in the wiretap. You let me know when it's done. And good luck. Okay. Oh, shit, wait. Well, howdy. What can I do for you today? Well, that's a damn fine coincidence. That's what this store is here for. We got about everything you can need. <laughs> I'm I'm guess sure it was Junk Town's future. Not today, isn't it? Okay, what do you got here, bud? You got a lot of caps. So let's see. Don't ever really use Kim, so I don't care about that. 
I'm trying to think of where this would come in handy. I can't think of any place it does. That raised the price, didn't it? Okay. All right. Well, I'll take it. We're doing good, boys. All right. We'll go help out the crash house. Damn, Archer, thank you very much, man. Yeah, Jim Cummings did a fantastic job in this game. Okay. All right. Do you want to rest here till tomorrow? Yeah, do that. And then we can do this little side quest here. So you're just going to talk him down from this hostage uh, situation that he's put himself in here? She tells us a little bit about Gizmo. And, uh... She'll give us a free night stay in a room. But the reason it was really worth it was that uh, 1,000 XP that we got. You're a whiskey and mintats kind of player? Ooh, wee. So here's Gizmo, and we'll go talk to him. What do you want? I'm a busy man. I don't know what you're talking about. Such as? And let me guess. You're that someone? Oh, yes, indeedy. Well, how can I trust you? <laughs> All right. Richard Cock. We yes. <laughs> but you work for me. You better know that Yo. nobody ever double crosses Gizmo. We just start naming, <laughs> naming our characters. But... You got me. That's easy. I want him dead because he cramps my business. So, what are you doing for me? Absolutely. Good. Return with the dog tags he wears around his neck. Yeah, Dick broke. Tracy. Fuck yes. Yeah, we never meaning. had this conversation. You don't mention this to anyone. No one double crosses me. No one. Okay. Oh, Eduardo with a fat $5 super chat. Remember the Alamo. That's right. Apparently, you can extort up to 20,000 caps a week from Bob's Iguanas, was said on Reddit recently. Did you know about that? Uh, no, the most I can ever get out of him is like a, like a hundred, maybe a little bit more. That's wild. That's a lot of goddamn caps. Thank you for the super chat, Eduardo. So, did you get the evidence? Which? Bug or tape? Let's hear it. That's the first time I've been happy to hear his voice. Thanks, friend. Now, time for you and me to take care of the other business. Well, thanks again. 
Well, listen, I'm going to take the guards and run Gizmo and his cronies out Have of town. Have a good one, Jake. Thank you for... Yeah, use another gun. Uh, in the streets, my, for it? my dude. Might be good for a laugh. Go to Lars at the guard station. He'll fill you in. And listen, this town owes you a lot. Okay. All right, here we go. Hopefully, again, Ian doesn't fuck us by killing somebody that's not hostile. Oh, he's trying to leave. We got him. Okay, we're fucking out of here. Corpse. Nice dog meat. Oh, he burst a dog meat for 18 points. Come on now. Come on now, Ian. So one of the things I'm doing here is, uh... Oh, fuck, I blinked out. This is, uh, no, oh, buying a rope. And then we're gonna do the Brotherhood quest. Four caps. All right, for the roof. Thank you. Dolphin meat. I've never had it. <laughs> Chat. Ghoul meat. Goat meat. I've never had goat meat either. I don't think. I don't think.
Well, what's this? Yeah, see, I can maybe get up to here, and he's okay with it. What do you want? Time is money, chit-chat is not money. You hear about the job or what? Well, some caravans have been disappearing on us lately. Damn if anyone can figure out what happened to them. Mantis meat, oh my god, awesome beast, no way. Don't do it. Don't do it. Simple. Find out who's doing it and tell me. Or take them out, makes no damn difference to me. Just get that job done. Well, there's, uh, <clears throat> something... But I succulent meal meat. Rumors. Yeah, Paul Denis. Get your hands off me. You, uh, you really want to hear it, huh? Well, some say it's the death claw. Hash brown. That's great to hear, man. But, I, I hope you really enjoy your time. But I don't know nothing about that. Nathan, you like Decker? We're we're gonna go see him here pretty soon. How do you go talk to Beth? She knows more about that crap. Done and done. Now, get on out of here, but come back and talk to me when you found something. Okay. She directs us towards Harold, the best character in the series. Harold, of course, for those of you who haven't played this, but have played the Bethesda games like Fallout 3, Harold was the tree in Oasis. This is his first appearance here in the first Fallout. Spare change, old friend, old pal. Can you help a poor mutant down on his luck? <coughs> oh, kind of your friend. Very kind. You know, if I could clear the gunk out of there, you uh, just might find a tear in old Harold's eye. <laughs> Rest of the hubbers been picking on me like a bad booger since I came back to town. I can't leave, though. When the deals are done, it's still my home. Now, after the Great War, my vault was one of the first to open. <sighs> Phew. Long time. All started with the sirens. I was young, but oh, I do remember that. A lot of terrible years followed. And I remember walking out of the vault late one morning. Well, uh, I was a trader. Did pretty good making a circuit between survivors. Mm. Lost a lot of good people, though. <coughs> uh, gangers got them. Scavengers attacking the caravans and mutants, son of a dog, if they weren't springing up like rabbits with a mission. <coughs> Had to have an army of guards yeah, I'm not with sure just to do a deal. How different the master would be had uh, Harold regrouped with him at their excursion of uh, Mariposa. Ask him for Richard? All right, let's do it. Brilliant guy. A doctor and philosopher. Long ago, he led the expedition where I got changed into a mutant. There's uh, something, I forget, there's something you can ask him. Oh, the master. 
And he asks if it's like some kind of sex thing. Who? Is he some sort of sex therapist? I could use one, you know. Of course, they helped you, bonehead. Just too damn many to handle. Didn't. Got killed. <laughs> Love that joke. It's the best joke Harold has. We mounted an expedition. God, Richard. Richard Gray led a small group of us up there. Richard Gray was a doctor. A little older than me, and Fran was he smart. He found the source. Some sort of old military base. We lost a lot of folks getting in there. Robots and such. A lot of them. Damn surprised they were still running after all this time. What with the war and all. Whew, boy, they tore us a good one. Yeah, robots will do that to you. We got pretty far inside. Wasn't a lot of us left by then. Gray, me, and a couple of others. One of them robots got Francine. Mark was wounded. Sent him back to the surface. Then it was just me and Gray. We made it to some sort of central core, like a plant of some sort. That's when it happened. A robot crane crashed into us. Last I saw Gray, he was flying that was through it, the boys. air and into some sort of acid bath. Then here comes the master. I was in bad shape and... Domino effect. Out. Butterfly effect. No, you idiot! I just said I never saw him again, didn't I? Well, I have no idea. Woke up in the wasteland, got mad. barely hanging on. Got lucky and some traders I knew found me days later. Good thing, since I was already changing. They brought me here and here I've been since. All I know is it was something inside that base. How the hell should I know? Gray would have known if anybody could. <sighs> anyway, that's how the deal went down. Andrew wants a tip for someone who's 40 hours into Fallout but hasn't beaten the main course. Are you talking about just the original Fallout? Well, thanks you for should be me pretty close it. to done with everything if you've been actually questing for that long and like going around and doing everything. Oh, hey, it's you again. Anything I can do for you? Ooh, that thing. Friend, that is Nightmare City. Why the hell are you asking about that? Not just go to each place and do all the quests. Grind your uh, wasteland encounters. And then uh, get after that main quest. Okay. Well, that's like a damn big man is what it is. Got spikes and claws that can cut through the heaviest armor. But don't let the size fool you. It's quick. Well, from what I've heard, maybe whack it in the head. I'd try the eyes. Of course, there's a problem there. I can't look at them. It is said the Death Claw can hypnotize just by looking. Yeah, Ashton, you remember that playthrough? I'm literally doing this right now Good so that it doesn't you. do that again. And I usually don't take on the Death Claw with just the hunting rifle and the leather armor, so let's see. It does look, look like we could leave and come back, though. Okay, I'm doing good damage to it. Damn. 
Oh, there we go. What? God damn it. Seven HP left on the death claw. Four HP left on the death claw. One HP. Killed. We did it. We fucking did it. Hey, Kurt. Good to see you. Been a while. I think it's been a while, but I do remember your name. Over on Twitch, Kurt Vonnegut. Okay, so let's... Off we go. Oh no boys, I may have to refresh that soda. Well, what do you got for me? What, do I look a crate shy of a load? Did you even see the death claw? You... You killed it? Well... Yeah, think about I, that. Uh, um... Uh, where did these mutants come from? Yeah, the the news anchor, Owen, at the beginning of Fallout 4, uh, being voiced by Ron Perlman. Yeah, it's a fucking great touch. An outpost? Well, um... Well, uh, I'll have to talk to the committee. Yeah, yeah, they'll know what to do. Uh, done and done. G get out, because uh, I got stuff to do, okay? I got work to do. Fuck off. All right. So I'm going to grab a soda real quick, and uh, then we will continue our fucking trek. I didn't realize I was still muted. I was explaining that this Jones flavor, this Jones soda, I said uh, that must have looked weird when uh, I came in and I was twisting the cap off. This Jones soda flavor was the same flavor that they used for Nuka-Cola Quantum, uh, the Berry Lemonade Jones, and it's fucking delicious. Top tier. Okay. Let's go join the Brotherhood. Wait, no, not yet. What does it taste like? Uh, berry lemonade. No, um, it's hard to explain. 
Really good. Like, it's one of my favorite flavors of all time. Well, that doesn't help you. Um. No, but, like, uh, it, d it does taste like a... Like a blue raspberry lemonade-ish taste. Go talk to Decker and uh, get some work here. So, you're looking for a job. How fortunate. I have one that needs doing. Ah, but where are my manners? What's your name? Well, the pleasantries are now concluded. Do you wish to hear about the job? Um... Background. There's a certain merchant who's... How to phrase this? Yeah, Not Jones is delicious. Eric. The underground. Quite simple. Hunt down the merchant and his wife, and exterminate them. It's standard pay. Five hundred caps to start. Another twenty-five hundred when the job is done. Perfect. Will you do it? Yes. Very nice. The merchant lives in the Heights, on Barter Street and Thunder Avenue. Your initial pay will be handed to you on your way out. All right. Okay, so we're gonna go do this mission real quick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I bet you're watching me is what I should have said. Fucking love the death animations in Fallout and Fallout 2. They're so over the top and amazing. You got a shot on anybody? South Park death animations are the best? Well, fair enough, Soggy Doggy. I like my classic Fallout ones. South Park is pretty fucking legit. Yeah, Trust McNeil. There's a lot of great voice actors in this, uh, in, in this game. This and Fallout 2. Looks like dog meat's fleeing. I hope he's okay. Oh my god. What the fuck? Okay, dog meat. Okay, let's grab some shit here. Caps. I wonder what Ian would think is better, the Desert Eagle or the... 
SMG. I think he did switch it for the Desert Eagle. this too. Yeah, it's super dangerous for him to have that fully auto SMG. So I'm giving him all this other shit to have. So he'll, uh, he'll burn through those first. That's it, buddy. That's it, buddy. Into the dick. Yeah, Ian's definitely using that 14 millimeter now. I always wait until we do this Good next day job again, my friend. to, uh... I have another job for you. Are you interested? Before we join the Brotherhood, because you, we can get a free radiation meds and a robe this way. The robe helps for later on. Excellent. You see, the last job I gave you was a test, and you did exceedingly well. Now comes a job of importance. As you may know... The children of the cathedral have been gaining influence in get this town. Get your gun out of my penis. And yeah, frankly, right. Owen, get I your gun out of it. my penis. I see you know your firearms quite well. A small matter. Kill the high priestess Jane. Once she's gone, this little nuisance will be ended. Hey, a dweller and his dog. Good to Interested. see you. Yeah, I have. I saved. I sold two of the vault water, uh, vault thirteen canteens, but uh, still have one of them. Thank you very much for stopping by the stream. I appreciate you. I believe I'm beginning to like you. The pay is one thousand up front and four thousand upon completion, and trust me, I'll know when it's done. Talk to Kane on your way out. He'll provide you with details fine hit the old nick vape now the nick uh the salt nick that i have in here i don't know he said it was a like higher percentage of nicotine well, let me see how much is left in my little thing here if i need to fill her up or not no it's still good okay We can get that gun from this guy, but that gun is a 223 in the original Fallout. Oh, okay, it's open. Why do you disturb an elder of the cathedral? 
Have you studied the sacraments, child? Perhaps one of our That's priests me, uh, will discuss me, your needed education. Leave now. Okay, one second. Why right, is being fucking... All right. Oh my god, now the other one's down. Oh, that's not better. <laughs> Fuck that guy up. Ooh, fucked me up. Dark uh, magician who get dry eyes when you smoke. Um, yeah, that might be what's going on. Wow. Fuck is your problem, buddy? To the dick. There you go, Ian. It looks like the doctor wants to smoke too. Victory is ours. You know what? I will take this for Ian. I don't think giving him armor does anything like it doesn't fall out too. Like I don't think he'll like put it on or anything, so you can have this for when he runs out of bullets for the fourteen millimeter. Okay. F a Frito, a freedom man, uh, <laughs> separating church from state. Yeah, we sure did. And we'll fucking do it again, too. The whole point of doing this is this thing right here. Ammo for the guns we're going to be using, stim packs, free radiation medicine, fucking this, more rad meds, super stim, there we go, okay, so now we're looking good, in my opinion, we're going to go do the brotherhood quest after turning this into Decker. to be higher just in case the brotherhood make us repair that gosh darn power armor even though we wouldn't even be wearing it for very long all right uh we're gonna go do the brotherhood quest all 
and become members of the Brotherhood. Fucking poison me. First shot. To the brain. We need to heal dog meat. I'm pretty sure that's why he's running from everything. Okay, how many? 50 of 50. Oh, he has crippled limbs. Okay. I failed to heal the crippled left arm. Oh, I did it. Okay, now he's not crippled. That's good. Am I crippled? That's good. Okay. What build am I going for? Uh, just the standard sniper build. I'll show you. This is it right here. Um, with implants, you can get these a little higher up, but we'll probably beat the game before we even worry about it. Hello, and welcome to the Brotherhood of Steel. May I ask your business here? That's great! Uh, wait, wait here a second, and let me see what you need to do. Uh, well, I, I talked to the High Elder, and he said that not just anyone can join. He uh, said you have to complete a quest first. You have to go to the ruins of the Ancient Order that's south of here. Uh, you've got to go inside and bring back something that proves that you were there. This place is high-tech. There's things inside like you've never seen before. Oh, uh, it's also radioactive. <laughs> You'll do it? You will? Great. Just bring it back here. <laughs> Good luck. Thank you, Cabot. This guy tells us the truth. Okay. To the glow we go. We got soft locked at the glow during your first run. That is uh, fucked. those boys up hey soapy banana good to see you beware of Ian no we got yeah we're doing good he does have a 14 millimeter though so be nice to watch our fucking backs my favorite wild wasteland moment DLC or base game I'm trying to think uh, the the alien encounter up north is my favorite Oh my god. We encountered a bunch of fucking Ians. Okay. 
Ooh, instantly. there's a vault out there full of Ian's? Oh my god, I would hope so, Dweller. I would fucking hope so. Not worth our time. So we're getting real close to the border of the glow. Taking our red X. The glow is the West Tech facility. It was hit directly with an atomic bomb during the Great War. Which is why it's just a big fucking crater now. Okay. Use our rope that we bought in the hub. So, uh, one of these, one of these playthroughs, I'll actually go through the glow, but um. I would come back after I got power armor, I think. Oh, there we go. And we can do the whole Doom reference, key color key cards for each elevator and shit. Really fantastic area. A lot of uh, a lot of thought was putting to, put into the glow. And we're out. That my house dot wad thing is super cool. I did see that, uh, Patty. Radiated. Nope. Whoops. Okay, would I do a one intelligence playthrough? Yeah, a one or two. Dumb playthroughs are fun in the classic. 
games because they actually have things set up for when you're doing that, things change. And uh, it's neat. What does TKS stand for? It stands for the cons. It's an online clan tag from back in the day. Okay. There's always one that like spawns behind us. What the fuck's up with that? My blood is stronger than yours. Holy shit. Wow. There we go. Bingo. You love Futurama? Maniac, did you see my tattoo that I got recently of uh, the Planet Express ship? I mean, it's a, part of, it's a part of a bigger piece that's being worked on right now, but uh, the Planet Express ship part is done. to the brother. I'll show off my Planet Express ship tattoo. still like a work in progress here so like this is the sleeve that I'm working on right now it's supposed to be like a retro sci-fi art uh, outer space sleeve I mean we got vault boy still in there I've had that tattoo for a while but my newest artist like touched it up and made it good uh, I do have the Starfield logo in there I'm um, also just recently got Bartman he's gonna be a part of this he's like surfing through space but the Planet Express ship is right here, coming out of a wormhole, which is uh, really fucking cool. Uh, she, uh, my tattoo artist, has just uh, completely, I'll raise it up a little bit more, uh, has been doing this, like kind of like just creating the piece from her own uh, vision, and she's fucking killing it. But uh, anyway. That's uh, the tattoos going on right now. And put my glasses back on. 
fuck's sakes. Thank you guys for saying so. I think she's doing a really good job on the sleeve. And, and once it's all done, um, like obviously it'll all come together and I think yeah, it'll look all complete and, and better. So do that. Hey, you're back. Great. But um, the high elf is great. All right. Into the brotherhood we go. Open that fucking door. No, the Starfield tattoo means something different than people think it does. So, like, I like Starfield a lot. Let's start there. Like, I enjoy the game, so I don't have, I don't mind it being tattooed on my body. But the reason Starfield's logo is tattooed on my body is not because the game is so great. It's because it was the first time Bethesda ever sent me something. Now they didn't send like uh, like I had already bought the game twice, but they they gave it to me two weeks early. Uh, so that I could have content ready on release day. And that was the first time anything like that has happened. That's why I have a framed copy of it on my wall. That I, I act like that's the copy Bethesda sent me as like a representation of it. And I have it tattooed on my arm because it like it's, it's signifying that moment, not necessarily uh, what I think about the game. If that makes any sense. Uh, the, how much did the sleeve cost? So um, I go in... Uh, a session will usually last about four to five hours. She's really good with pricing on me because we're doing such a big piece. She'll charge me like three, uh, 300 th uh, to like 350 for like four to five hours, which is a really good price. Usually it's like a hundred an hour. I tip about a hundred to $200 when I go in there in between that amount. Um, because I really like her. I really like her work. And I, I always tip, uh, with like, those kind of services, you know what I mean? Like, there's a lot going on with her giving me a full fucking tattoo, so I feel like, um, tipping is something you should do, you know, if you like what the fuck you're getting. So anyway, uh, that's, that's about how much it's, it's cost me. A theory they owe me early access because of all the promotional content I'm providing. Uh, you could look at it that way, but like, I mean, they don't have to do anything. So it just meant a lot to me that they did that was all. Um, let's see. Oh, that might be why. I never get the power armor. Um. Oh, damn it, quit doing it. We do get Brotherhood armor though, so it's like, we're good. Okay, go talk to Vri. Hmm. It's a fine day for learning. Can I help you? I record the knowledge. Yeah. What can I help you with? Okay, we're gonna get... This one. Between the nuclear and biogenic weapons used, all the mutants I've studied have been star- Here, take this hollow- Okay, so she just gave us a hollow tape that uh, will prove to the master that the mutants are sterile and won't be able to reproduce past a certain generation, which means his plan is for nothing. Um, so 
there's a couple of perhaps references to me in Starfield that I don't try to be like vain about. The only one that I like super look at is like TK's uh, shop up in uh, the Crimson Fleet because the guy like looks like me and talks like me <laughs> and is uh, like named TK TK's you know like again like it, it could be it could not be. I know that I know a lot of people that worked on Starfield and some of them are fans of me. I don't think the Mantis thing is a direct um, uh, reference to me or anything but I did used to do real life superhero shit um, uh, back in the day where we would run around the streets and break up fights and do all this like real life superhero kick ass shit uh, with Phoenix Jones so like the Mantis is a vigilante as well in the Starfield universe it, it's uh, neat but at the same time I don't look at those as like oh these must be references to me you know what I mean but it's like cool to think about okay anyway so we did the Brotherhood. We can go back down to the hub. Actually, I'll know what I'll. I know what I'll do. Well, I need to get my fucking sniper rifle. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. Uh, Grandma Shirley was gonna be in the fucking Elder Scrolls Six, which is good. I should make videos reminiscing about the things I did as a kid. Uh, well, I could do something like that. Should get somebody to animate them as I talk about them. Okay, I know that this dude has our sniper. Well, he wants 5k for it. That's not too bad. It's not Fallout 2, so I have to do it chunk by chunk here. Oh, cute. And then two ninety five. All right. Is there anything we can sell him that I don't really need? No. Mark Morgan's ambient soundtrack for the first two Fallout games is simply divine. Instead of doing all that other extracurricular shit, I'm just gonna head to, uh, my dog's having a fucking party next week. I'm gonna head to Necropolis, grab the water chip, fuck the ghouls, not even gonna fix their pump. Even though I, like, could. Um, fuck them, not going to, um... I'm gonna get shit done, boys. Oh, now he's on camera. Here, we can look at him like this. This is what he does to his beds. I get these fucking beds for him, and this is what he does to him. Well, now he's just laying on it. Okay. That's Dutch, by the way. He's named after Dutch Vanderlyn from Red Dead Redemption 2. And Red Dead Redemption. Suppose you are chasing him down in RDR1.
Okay, so we just told him that we would fix the pumps? What breed is he? He's a Australian Shepherd and like... Freaking, what are those called? Terrier, he's uh, one of the terriers. Like, he's either, I think it's an English terrier and an Australian Shepherd. Yeah, he's close. To, like, he has blue healer in him, too. Like, he, uh, he's a big mutt, is what he is. Hey. You not look like ghoul. How come? Mm, okay. Move along then. Thanks, pal. Yeah, any tips on getting used to the classics? Well, if you're not into the isometric view or the turn-based combat or, you know, like stuff like that, like... It'll be very hard for you to get into them. But I say use the character creation, Cody. Like, uh, there's this, like, a character save editor that you can get from, like, No Mutants Allowed. If you just typed in Falchi character editor or save editor, you could find it. And just max your character out and just kind of roam around and find stuff to do. You can even follow a guide after doing that. Learn how to do it without the risk of dying. And then uh, you can come back to it and, like, if you enjoy it, you know, but, uh, when I was a kid, that's what I used to do. And then it got me used to how to play it, you know, and then, uh, now I can just play it. Now we're doing 87 hit, uh, hit points when we shoot 87 damage. shit in here. Alright, and we just got the water chip. The closer you are, the worse the sniper rifle is, even though that was a very good shot. Like I'm in the hex next to him. Oh, it did, it did something. It's 78, I guess that wasn't that bad. Your dog's named Mazzy Star, like the band. Fantastic. I knew a girl named Ma uh, Mazzy, based, uh, like, named after the Mazzy, Mazzy Star. Mm. 
And we are out of here. We're fucking gone. Okay. Oh my god. Damn, son. Okay then. Not our problem anymore. Hey, have a good one, Shifty. Yeah, there's probably a lot of scorpions down in Cali. It's where they live and shit. Arizona and uh, Nevada, Mexico, like all through that desert land, man. It's their fucking favorite place to be. Found the chip? Okay, dokey. One moment. The chip is initializing. Here, there, 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 there it goes. Self test is grain. Reboot is good. Ha! It's working, and it looks like we have a winner. <laughs> oh, you've you've saved us. You've done it. You saved the vault. You should be proud. But now we need your report. We'll get it from you in the library. Please, go there now. I just wanted to let you know that the water supply is stabilized. Actually, we're I don't know if you heard what reserves. I said because I had a muted down there. You did great. Um, I, uh, I am a little concerned. When however. I was doing the level, uh, I said that I the science like report, and repair what was in will come in handy here in just a little bit. <laughs> in fact, they scared the heck out of me. It's those mutants. I've done some calculations and well. I've come to an unpleasant conclusion. <sighs> the mutant population is far greater than could be expected by natural growth or mutations. This leads me to believe in... I don't really understand it, but... It looks like someone's generating new mutants. 
and at a startling rate. Exactly. And as you've probably guessed, none of these mutations could have occurred naturally, even with the radiation from the war. As long as someone is creating hostile mutants at this rate, the vault's safety is at stake. Find and destroy this lab as soon as you can. Once more into the breach, my friend. You have. Yeah, fuck you, Jacker, and you fucking piece of shit. Oh yeah, all these rats are still alive. Ian and the dog can take care of them. I'll try to just fist fight it. Um, off we go. Dude, Xavier the Renegade Angel, what a fucking trip that show was. What's this shit? Yeah, well, none of your fucking business. It's good to see you. You managed to avoid a serious case of dehydration by searching for water. The search takes an additional five hours. Fuck. Alright. We're almost to Mariposa. Oh shit, I thought you could, uh, let them wait for you. So, uh, no, they probably won't live through this. Oh, maybe that's what change formation is. Well, too late now. I know change for me, she oh, closer, farther, excellent. maybe wait for me as another you know, one. I actually doubted my officers when they said they'd captured a prime normal. It is. Yes, you do have a way with words, don't you? And words are what we want. Before. Oh, how commendable. Enough foolishness. Where is your vault? We shall see, won't we? Oh, he's coming. He usually doesn't follow us this long. Damn, he's coming. He usually doesn't follow me for this long. What the fuck? Oh my god, another cursed playthrough.
That's not what I was- oh, fuck. Look at him just stopped there. Dipshit. Okay, I know what I'm doing here. Okay, we're gonna do the old spam technique here. Hopefully you don't get fucked by these traps. It's costing us so many seconds to do the spam technique, they must have put that in. Okay. Why won't... Okay, what the fuck does that mean? Oh, dog meat's in the way. Oh, fuck. Okay. Shit, I usually don't have them... moving with me on this, and it doesn't look like I'm going to need to. Unless... Okay. Go, 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 go. That was a clean exit from Mariposa, by the way. That was a clean exit, and dog meat, and... Oh, shit, I didn't think about that. Oh, I should have saved. Okay, cool. We're out of here, boys. Clean exit from fucking Mariposa. Everybody survived. But they have to be dismissed at uh, the cathedral, or they'll ruin my shit. Take care of our fucking. level here. What's this? So, yeah, you guys can actually... Let, let me see if I was right about that. Oh, no. Oh, you know what? Oh, I guess dog meat can't. Dude, he'll get me... I'll have to kill dog meat. Because he'll get us alerted at a Mariposa. So dog meat has to be dead. And I won't let you like let him wait. Oh, our first special encounter and it's Bob's Karma. I think we can get the Red Rider BB gun here.
Got our Red Rider BB gun. I really don't have to kill when I have to kill dog meat. That will bum me out. Because it won't let me enter a dialogue with him to tell him to, like, leave. Slightly a maniac is actually- he's not working for Big Wasp. He's actually just a Big Wasp. Typing. Oh look, a Brotherhood Patrol. Oh yeah, shit. Okay. So guys, I'm gonna have to kill dog meat. <laughs> and I don't wanna have to do this, but uh it's the fucking way she goes. F's in the chat. You can't- wait, what do you mean hide him, Owen? I don't think you can. The problem is... He will... Alert everybody to our presence here. Usually he dies in the fucking Mariposa military base. You don't have to worry about any of that shit. Yeah, F's in the chat. If you have a decent s steel skill, you can hide dog meat. That's interesting. That's an interesting string of words. I don't remember inviting anyone to my room, and yet I have a visitor. Why? What could you possibly offer me? Go on. Fine. I will take you to the master. But if you are lying, you will know. So what shall it be? Here we are, do boys. Do you join the unity, or do you die here? Join. Die. Join. Die. I don't have to prove anything to you. Prove. I am no villain. You have no idea what I or the unity is about. The Unity will bring about the Master Race. Master. Master! One able to survive, or even thrive, in the Wasteland. As long as there are differences, we will tear ourselves apart fighting each other. We need one race. Race. Race! One goal. Goal! Goal! One people to move forward to our destiny. Destiny. Of course. Mutants are best equipped to deal with the world today. Who else? The ghouls? Please. Normals! They brought nuclear death to us all. This will be the age of mutants. Mutants. All that... Resist! Yes. And all those that are required for the... Unity? As well. The remainder will be allowed to live out their days. But under... Unity. Control. And protection. But none shall breed, for they will be the last of their race. And what is that? Preposterous! The FEV2 virus doesn't destroy the reproductive organs of those it mutates. Do you have proof? 
I must digest this information. One moment. I understand now. You made a clever forgery. You made this up to fool me. Fool! Me! But it cannot be. This would mean that... All my work... ...has been for... Nothing. Everything that I've tried to... A, a failure! It can't... Be. 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 I... don't think that I can... Continue. Continue? ...to have done the things I have done in the name of progress and healing. It was madness. I can see that now. Madness. Madness? There is no hope. Yeah, soggy doggy. There is Leave a lot now. of that in Fallout. Leave while you still have hope. Now we just gotta hope that, uh, since we don't have the psychic nullifier, the medicine that the forecaster wears, that we don't die from all this damage that we take in this hallway. Floaters and centaurs. Oh my. It's weird it started me outside of the door. That was super weird. And we'll even, uh, get to shoot Jackarin. Because I can, uh, do that exploit. Roll credits. The death of the Master was the first major step towards ending his mad dream of conquest and enforced peace. But it is the destruction of the Vats that neutralizes the mutant threat. Without the ability to create more mutants and enforce their harsh brand of justice, the mutant armies flee to the east, beyond the No Man's Land. The ghouls of Necropolis learn firsthand the final meaning of dehydration as their cities. The next run we do will fix the their water, water runs out. <laughs> Without their water purifying control chip, they do not survive. In Shady Sands, Tandy helps her father Aradesh bring a new community and new life out of the broken remains of the world. They are responsible for the new California Republic, whose ideals spread across the land. Killian Darkwater takes firm control of Junktown, drives out the last of Gizmo's kind, and then enforces his own brand of frontier justice. Life is fair and safe under his law. The Enclave invented their own vats. The Brotherhood of Steel helps the other human outposts They're drive their the mutant own armies away yeah. with minimal but loss of life on both sides anyway. of the conflict. The advanced technology of the Brotherhood is slowly reintroduced into New California with little disruption or chaos. The Brotherhood wisely when they, remains they flee out of east, the power They're not referring to the East and Coast. becomes a major research and development They're referring house. to like uh, where we see them in New Vegas and shit. The Desert Raiders eventually um, regroup 
and but yeah, to I mean, yeah, you can small communities in the years following the master's adventure. super mutants aren't the ones that are on the east coast. Those, uh, the ones that are on the east coast are an entirely different breed of super mutant. Your involvement with the various places and people of the wasteland is well documented by future historians. Only a single question remained unanswered. What happened to you? Okay, we gotta spam A so that we can. Oh, we're about to do it before his uh, speech, too. He tells us to leave and never come back. I've never done it before his speech. It's pretty wild. Can I go into the vault? No. And we can't play this. We can't play this. Thank you. Okay, so that was the... <laughs> That was the Fallout, the first Fallout. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. Uh, I always do. Uh, we'll be back with more streams, of course, and I hear you loud and clear about getting videos out. I've just been doing so much of this. But anyway, um, I love you guys. Thank you for being here. Thank you to everybody who super chatted. That was amazing. And to uh, Jake, who did the five gifted uh, Mantis memberships. I appreciate you big time. I hope to catch you on the next one. It has been Mantis.